Hi. Today we want to learn how to use the Casio ES991 calculator to solve linear equations. All right. So without wasting much time, let's go straight forward to some linear equations and how we can use the calculator to solve them. We have our first question. This question let's try solving this manually and then see what we are going to get before we try using the calculator all right so assuming we are solving this question all that we have to do is to group like terms because we have 4x here we have another 9x here so we are going to have our 4x minus 9x this will be equal to 15 plus 5 okay so this is going to give us minus 5x is equal to 20 we are solving for x, so we are going to divide both sides by negative 5. We divide here by negative 5, here by negative 5. Okay, the negative 5 will cancel out, and we are going to be left with x is equal to negative 4. That is the answer when you solve this manually. Okay, so you want to learn how to use the calculator to solve this one too. Is that okay? All right, so we have our calculator here. And let's try using the calculator. So what we are going to do now is we are going to type exactly the equation that we are having here. This equation, we are going to type it on the calculator. All right. So let's type that. We have 4x. So we press 4 and then we want x. So you press the alpha and then you press this bracket close symbol here. We have x there. So you press the and that will give you the x. You have the minus 5. Okay, we want to type the equal to sign. Don't press this equal to sign. It will be like it wants to um, just simplify this for you. So just press the alpha and then you press the calc. The equal to sign will come. All right, so we want to type 9x. So we press the 9. If you want the x, you press the alpha, then you press this. Okay, so we have the 9x. All right, plus 15. So we are done typing the equation. We want the value for x. So if you want a calculator to solve it for you, what you are going to do is you are going to press shift and then you press the calc. You see that solve for x. You see that you are having a value there one. It has nothing to do with the question. It's just a previous um, a solution to a previous question. That is so. So if it comes that solve for x is now that you are going to press on this equal to key. So you press the equal to key and you have something on the screen. It's that the x is equal to and then it corresponds to negative 4. So the negative 4 there is the answer. And indeed, when we solve this manually, we realize that x is equal to negative 4. All right. Let's try another example using the calculator. So we have this question. Let's solve for the equation. So 4 bracket open 5x minus 3, bracket close is equal to 6, bracket open 2x plus 1. So all that we are coming to do is we are coming to type this equation on the calculator. All right. So for us to type this, we are going to have our 4. We have bracket open. So we open our bracket. We want to type 5x. So you press 5 alpha x. So you have your 5x there. You have your minus 3. Okay, now the next thing is close the bracket. So we are going to press just this to close the bracket. We want the equal to sign. So for the equal to sign, you are going to press on the alpha and then you press the calc. The equal to sign will come. You are left with the other half of the equation, that is the 6. So we type the 6. We open our bracket, we have 2x. So you press the alpha and then x. Okay, plus 1. Now you close the bracket. So you are done typing the exact equation there. Now the next thing is we want the value for x. So what you are going to do is to press the shift and then you press on the calc. It says solve for x. You realize that the previous question we had x to be equal to negative 4. So that is why the negative 4 is there. So let's ignore that. Solve for x. So what you are going to do is press the equal to button. So you are going to press the equal to button and we are having x to be equal to 2.25 indeed when you try solving this equation manually you are going to get x to be equal to 2.25 that's in decimal but in terms of fraction now if you're having 2.25 
in terms of fraction does the same as 9 over 4 so meaning that indeed when you solve this particular linear equation you are going to get your x is equal to 9 over 4 which is equivalent to the 2.25 let's try another example you have this equation and we want to again use the calculator to solve this so what we are going to do is let's type the exact equation there so we have some fractions there therefore we press this fraction button so that the fraction um, equation editor will come all right so we are going to have our x so let's press the alpha we press the x okay so we want to move to the denominator to type it too so you press the directional key here all right it will move down so we type our two the directional key so that is to shift to the other side we want addition sign so we press the sign okay we will have to type the two over three so we press those then we have two we press the directional key to type the three okay press the directional key again now we want to type the equal to sign so we press our alpha we press the cock the equal to sign will come now the next thing is for us to type the other half of the equation so we have another fraction there and that is 2x so we press 2 alpha x so we have the 2x7 as the numerator we are left with the denominator so for the denominator what are we going to do we shift the directional key so that we can get our we press on the three all right so minus therefore let's press on the minus sign all right we are left with the last fraction that is the one over three so we press the fraction key and then we type our one over three all right so this is the equation that we are having there we want to solve for x so what do we do let's press on the shift we press on the calc it says solve for x so all that you have to do is press the equal to sign and boom you are having your x to equal to six as your answer and indeed when you try solving this manually you are going to get x to be equal to six as your answer all right so let's try our last example okay we have this question two so all that we want to do is we are going to type exactly the equation that we are having there all right so we have fraction that is one over three so we press one okay over three we want to open bracket so we press this sorry you see that when you press this it is seven as the denominator so all that you have to do is just go back make sure that the cursor is just in front of the division symbol so we press the directional key okay and you get something like this so now you can bring your bracket then you type your two x so the x you press the alpha you press the x all right so minus one now you can close the bracket you have your minus another fraction and that is four over nine so type your four press directional key to press your nine you shift the case you open your bracket so that you can have your three x so alpha x minus two okay so you close the bracket we are left with the other side of the equal equation and that is a minus one over nine so we press our minus sorry let's type the equal to sign so you are going to have the we press the alpha and then we press our card so that the equal to symbol will come all right so we have our minus one over nine so you have your one over nine all right so we are done typing the equation now the next thing as usual you are going to press on the shift the shift and the calc so we press the shift press the calc and it says solve for x now from this point all that you have to do is just press the equal to sign so we press the equal to sign and boom what we have in the x is equal to one it means that indeed when you solve this equation you're going to get x to be equal to one that is the answer and this is how you can use this casio um, es991 to solve 
linear equations this is going to help you at times in your objective test is really going to make some simplification or some solving of questions easy and you will save time okay so this is where we are going to um and this tuition on how to use the calculator to solve linear equations. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch out for our next video. Thanks. Bye bye.